Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Darkness Fall series. It is the morning of day four and I am mining underneath the traders right now and I ran into some iron like just a, like a minute ago, which is awesome. So we picked up 1200 iron already. So just like down here. So I came down and I thought oh, I'll make a turn and head out towards the back. So if you look at the map real quick here. I was going to head out this way because I know we hit a boulder out here that had some iron in it. So I was going to head out this direction. I know it would take a while to get out there with, with the uh, pickaxe we have, but I ran into iron like right here. Beautiful. So now we have iron underneath our base. We've got iron whenever we want it. Nice. And we are going to need it, especially for upgrading this here because like she's got like no protection here. Right? So we're going to need to do that. I can probably break apart this forge now too, So, but I'll leave that for now. Got some stuff we need to do here. So today, actually let's take, leave our mining helmet on for, well, no, we better take it off now. We we're fine down below, but not up here. Okay. So I made some bacon and eggs last night. Was able to stave off the hunger a little bit, uh, but we definitely need to get that um, next level of uh, farming done. Uh, let's quickly have a look here at our skills. We got one skill point to spend. So, uh, sous chef level two we'll get once we finish the um, the farmer class quest which we can do today once we get those apples out there they should regrow today and that'll let us make the um, like a ton of stuff here blueberry pie steak and potatoes those are the two main ones we can use soup apple pie pumpkin bread all kinds of stuff banana pancakes we'll probably may be making because um, we got lots of bananas around so a lot of options, but we need to get those apples today and get that, that quest line done. We're going to go ahead in the forge here now, because the anvil's done. We're going to go ahead and make at least... How much forged iron can we make here? We have no clay, so we can't make any. Uh, all right, I organized this a little bit last night too, so... All the food is down below. So... I think 120. Let's just make... Let's just make 50 for now. 51, probably. Okay, 51, 52, 52. Perfect, let's get those going. Excellent, I can put you away. So we got, oh, not in there, up here. Got a few things we gotta do today. Um, we gotta check for, for uh, quests here. Uh, we got lots of bandages. Actually, you let's get our coin out. Now. Up here, gonna be confused for a while here. All right. Um, yeah, it's too bad we got two guys here. I'm gonna buy all you, and I'm gonna buy all you. Ooh, you got lots here. I'll buy all you. I got a feeling we're gonna need them after uh, Horde Night for the guards. So let's grab those now. Every time he restocks, I should be picking them up. Okay, that done. Uh, let's go ahead and what do we gotta do now? Um, Right, that's all done. Let's go ahead and get one of you. And is there no recipe? I guess I, there's nothing I can use these for. I don't really want to make grilled meat, but let's make a couple of... Let's make like three. That'll at least do us for today. Get the quest done. I'm kind of indecisive about what we need to do. I think we go and we, um, we find out if these guys have any quests. We go take the quests, see if we can pick up some gear. Um, that's not bad. We do need the apples today. That's the most important thing. The forged irons are going, so that should finish off. What job do you have us doing? Oh yeah, there's one right out here. Right. Let's repair this. And we might as well repair you while we're at it, just so you're full today. And will you? what do you repair with? I think it's pipes, is it not? It is. Beautiful. Excellent. How are you doing? You're going to be a while. Okay, let's get going. Talk to Jen. See what you got for us today, Jen. Good morning, Survivor. Morning. Uh, you got any jobs? Anything close by? Nothing, eh? Way out to the east. 
What is I it though? Would love gas to get station, you a eh? Job. Sure. Be back soon, and I'll have a nice reward for you. All right, we're on it. We do have one skill point. I want to hold off. Actually, you know what? We don't want to hold off. We want to go ahead because uh, we were talking about this yesterday. So we want to go ahead and do this one. So we can get a workbench going. Now we do need mechanical parts today. So one thing we do need to finish up that workbench. So this is the house here we need to do. Actually, let's get... Um, Where's the far one? This one. They're both clears. So let's get the far one first. It is a gas station, so I'm hoping it's got, you know, some half decent stuff in the back. Yeah, you know what? I think our next priority is going to be getting the um, mechanic class. Oh, we got... Oh, well, if we need food and we need supplies for Horde Night, we know where to go. I wonder if we go there now. You know, no, stay on target. Today's day four. Maybe day five we do we do this building. Get all the concrete. Because we got a mixer. Yeah, I think that's what we do. Okay, so this is the normal passing gas. So we know this one. So we have to go through it as you normally would. Which really isn't much. It's just kind of going in the front door and sneaking through and around the back. Yeah, I think we got a really good start. Like a really good start in the uh, on the map. I mean, I could be wrong. Just gonna loot this stuff real quick. See if there's any zombies around. Ooh, mushroom spores. Hey, it's up. Alright, we got this guy. And that guy. Okay, this POI here is a nightmare POI. And I know that because, like I said, I played a little bit, just so I ha I I'd have an idea of what to do. And that POI, I gotta say, is whoever designed that, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. It was such a fight. It was a, such a great fight. And um, not only did I have fun clearing it, I, I, I uh, got attacked by a wandering horde while I was there. So it was even better. All right, chili. Busted vending machine, another chili, and some meat. Oh, broken car. That broke real fast. Alright, let's do this one. And the door's locked. It's kind of frustrating, all the locked doors, but it makes sense. And the zombies are deaf as hell, so... Oh, except for you. Somehow you didn't you didn't uh, hear me banging on the door, but definitely heard me creeping in, all stealthy like. Okay, all quiet. We're gonna loot afterwards. We already got stuff in our inventory. We can get this one done. Oh, figures you're locked. All right, let's close you. Like normal seven days to die, they'd be awake by now. Oh, I see you, bastard. Come on, buddy. Free hugs, bring it in. Well, you're all just down just below half. You got the health, buddy. Ooh. Squash the helmet and the melon. All in one shot. I think we're quiet in this part now. Am I correct in assuming that? I'm sure there's people down there. Which will probably spawn in as soon as I go down. 
Okay, we still got two sleepers. Where's the other guy? Is he coming up? I need you to stay down there, man. Ah, uh, we woke her up. Oh well. Hoping to, to uh, get a sneak shot on her, but no such luck. Yeah, he second guessed himself there. Did you see that? He's like, should I go up that way? I don't know. Oop. Come on. Alright, we can swing between the bars. Nice. And done. That's it. Great, we cleared the area. Beautiful. Let's get these containers and get the hell out of here. Oh, beaker. That's a bonus. Now, now I almost want to go for scientists next so we can get that uh, chem station going. But I still think having the um, having a mini bike or something like that early on. Ooh, calipers. Nice. We're gonna need those. I think we need to. I think we need the calipers for the. Uh, is it the calipers? I don't know. We need one of them for um, making, oh, of course, making the uh, cement mixer. Two bullets. Anything to save me making cobblestone. All right, that's a little better. Um, let's go ahead and modify you. I mean, the durability is a little better. And then modify you. Go ahead and scrap these guys. As long as we're getting cloth, we might as well get this cloth. Okay, I'm not going to break these cars apart. We've got engines and stuff, although we do need mechanical parts, so maybe it is worth... I don't know. We'll see what we got out back here in a second. Okay. So quick rise. Take this. Plastic is going to become very important later on. Actually, you know what? We can get... Yeah, mechanical parts out of these. Alright, what else have we got here? Glass jars. I don't think we're going to have a problem with nitrate powder in this playthrough. And the last one. It, was, it did figure, though, that last playthrough... I'd scrap this guy. That last playthrough, man, finding that uh, nitrate node, like right at the very end of the series, right when I was just like doing the things to finish up the playthrough, I find the damn nitrate node. It's like really. I don't even get any iron. Oh, electrical parts. All right. Well. That's not going to give us anything. Can we get through here? Yep. Can't get out there, though. And that's not a thing. All right, let's go around back. Actually, this car will give us some mechanical parts. So you can power attack to break stuff apart in this mod, which I think is, is great. It just speeds things up so much. Got three zombies off to the left there. Not shotgun rounds. Let's go around back. I should take this apart, but... Um, got one car over there. Let's just check the garbage. I guess the rain's rolling in for everywhere but the desert. Fine by me. Okay, steel arrows, which you can't use with the bow we have. Alright, well, we'll find some mechanical parts in the way. Actually, you know what? These will have them. Sure will. So we need 20 for the workbench, and I think we need 6 or 8, I think we had 14 back home, did we? This is an airfield? Yeah, this is an airfield. You know what, depending on how the series goes, we might come down here, like you can have more than one land claim block in this, so maybe I'll crank it up to like 4. 
and then like put three on the airfield here and we'll we'll turn this into a gyrocopter landing site or something i don't know maybe we'll see how it goes it's like full of zombies though now right, we got another bandit over here i don't know if I just take care of them or what you know what i think we should Wow, you went, uh... Alright, Jason, whatever. We're having a ton of bananas on the way back. We got 15 of them already. So let's head back. Um, what's the time of the day here? Probably midday. So let's get home. Drop all this stuff off. Take a quick peek to see if the apples are ready. Um, we're going to throw the other apples in our inventory so we can get that quest done right away. And then depending on how that goes and if we can see ah we're not even midday yet okay beautiful we should have plenty of time to come back here and finish up this quest today too that'll put us at what like one like four or f no wait six or eight six quests somewhere around there we've done for these guys i think we need to get 10 to be in their good books and then i think um she'll start giving us uh the ability to buy skills I don't know what skill she's going to offer. Take those for the nitrate powder. Don't know what skill she's going to offer us, but hopefully it's something good. So as far as horde base goes, I'm thinking we're going to build out front here for now. Either that or up here. And use this as the main part of the horde base for the first horde. Because I want to, I want to utilize these guards as much as possible to make the first. Oh, we should probably go talk to her. Make the first horde night relatively simple for us. We can use the walls to shoot down on my and everything if we have to. Wow. We're running a 10 you can take less shotgun rounds or more shotgun rounds. Which one do you want? Oh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> what an option. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and sell. We can't use these for a while, so we might as well sell them. Um, what else do we have that we can sell out of this? Not much. Do we need to hold on to everything here? Thanks for okay. letting me take care uh, of you. And tell your friends. Nothing else. Southeast. That's a fair ways for a fetch. All right, we're good. We're good. Yeah, we good. So. Let's go make our baseball bat, because our forged iron should be done. The forged iron we need anyway. So let's drop you guys in there. Uh, you can go in there for now, because we have to plant you near the water to work. Put you guys in there. You go in there. And then in here. All this stuff. Alright, we don't have room for it all. We'll just scrap this. Uh, we might as well just... Actually, we need this for the workbench. Workbench re does require some tools now to be used, so... For certain things, that is. Alright, there's that. And then we need that. And then we should just be able to make this, right? Level 11? Beautiful. Okay, now, uh, that was that done. Apples. Let's get the apples on us. Chrysanthemum seed we needed. Um... Ten apples. All right. Let's hopefully we get. Let's hopefully. Let's hope we get. Oh wait. Oh yeah. Your quest is out there. We haven't done it yet. Let's hope we get those apples. I hope I can. I should have gone out the back to see if I could see them. I should actually repair. Um, we don't repair you. We don't. Not gonna bother repairing you. We're just gonna scrap you in a minute anyway. Can I see those apple trees from here? I tried to cut down all the trees, kind of towards them. I don't think they're done yet. Oh yeah, they are. Beautiful. Yeah. There we go. Four. There we go. Beautiful. And then recipes. We need two apple seeds. Craft. And we're going to need to make this next, I think. Get those going. Let's go do this quest now. But you guys can see now what I mean about food and water being an issue in this mod pack. Like, we're in the desert. And yeah, I mean, I could have built my house over here or whatever. Um, and you know, had re like reduced water consumption. But still, like, if you don't have the ability to make some food relatively early on or invest some points into it, 
you can like starve really easily. Water, I mean, water is relatively easy to get, but food, on the other hand, can end up being a real nightmare if you're not, uh, you know, cognizant of it, right? But it really helps too, at least knowing a few of the recipes before you uh, play the game. So you know what to look out for. Like if you're going to do steak and potatoes, you either need potatoes um, and corn or potatoes and carrots. Carrots you can find pretty much anywhere in the green biome. And since I think you always start in the green biome, I'm pretty sure you do. Um, it's generally, that's the easiest thing to do is make steak and potatoes. That's a lot of zombies. Okay, two down. I think the other two are past the door. Let's grab you. Don't know what we can use that for, but we'll grab it. Sure. And this is... Yep. Let's just scrap that, because we already know how to do that. Now, these better? Oh yeah, way better. That will probably help a lot. All we need is a good duster or something. This will give us a mechanical part. Two mechanical parts, nice. Later on, we're going to need a crap ton of elect electrical parts. Oh, look at you staring right at me, you fucker. See him looking right at me? With all eight of his beady eyes? Little shit. Are you Are you in the bathroom or are you back here? Fucking in the bathroom. Ow! Well, he didn't poison me. I think I got real lucky there. I just feel like I got real lucky there. Okay, let's see if we can find something to drink in here. Yeah, you think? A little thirsty. Oh, there's my college jacket. Too bad it's shitty for the desert. Well, it's actually not that bad. Actually, I think it's... Isn't it better than... Um... Oh, it's got terrible heat resist. Plus 5% run speed, though. There's our two seeds. There's our baseball bat. So let's go ahead and modify this. And we can scrap this guy. So that's us finishing up our quest line for our, yep, so we should be done laborer now, we go here, yep, so farmer, it's just, we need animal feed, chicken coop, animal snare, so, so animal feed, we needed four. Let's just get those crafted now. We might be able to finish this up while we're here. Nothing to drink. Where did I leave off? Some soup. A whole lot of nothing in this place. Wow. Alright. I'm not going to come back under here, so let's just check this for now. Then we'll go upstairs. Alright, going to go ahead and scrap you. We got animal feed, so recipes. Animal snare, we need plant fibers. Chicken coop, we need plant fibers. And we go outside real quick. Let's do it. I don't want to go too far here, so let's just grab. Come on. That should give us more than enough. Let's just make sure before we go back inside. Beautiful. Might as well grab the free wood. Excellent. All right, um, so we need to do a chicken coop and an animal snare. Cool, let's go upstairs, finish this place up. Oh, hey, what's up? I got a bat here, you wanna come and help me try it out? Come on down here. The 
There's at least four of them here. That's locked. Yeah, four more. One, two, three, four. I like the coop and the snare are finished up. How are you doing? Still working on it, huh? Okay, you're in here. Yeah, man. So that's the coop and the uh, snare done. What's that? The corpse breaking, probably. Dude. Hey. Right here. Alright, we got one more upstairs and we'll come down and loot this place. Well, some more upstairs. Ah, uh, locked door. Okay. Don't be brutal. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck off. Might be the last guy. That's it. Ooh, look at the juicy loot in here. All right, let's open these up and then we'll check out what we got. All right, let's see what we got here. So ammo pile. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Um, so what's our reload bonus for this? 15% pass, so it's not bad. It's 30 in, in the regular game, so that's not bad. But I know there's like other items. Where are the arrows again? Holy crap. There's either other items that can help you increase your reload speed. Grab that. What do you got for me? Okay, battery and calipers. Alright, we can scrap both of these guys. We already learned the leather armor recipe. Okay, what do we got here? Painkillers, alright. Oil shell, because we're not going to find any of that anytime soon. Low torch. Butchering tools we've already used. And this is locked. Let's hope we can break in. What do you know? First try. That's awesome. Okay, we can scrap these guys. And I got to take all that. So we're getting a lot of 9 mil ammo, which is nice, because we do have the pipe pistol so far. We lost out on the opportunity to buy the, um, the pistol. I should have saved up and just waited and bought it, but... She might have one kicking around. Alright, let's see if we got some good clothes here. Nothing there. Uh, and... Ooh, what's this? Ah, some ammo. Come on. Okay, BDU top. Um, is it any better? No, nope, not as good heat resist. That's all we, all we really need is heat resistance. I mean, if I found a duster, I would probably go with it just because it looks cooler, but... Grab that. And... Okay, rapid rise. Take that. Might as well grab this while we're here. What do you got for me? Yeah, I feel like we got a lot done today. Okay, what's this? Okay, we can go ahead and scrap you, and we can scrap you, because we're not going to use either. Take the paper. Not going to use either of these two. Man, we're, hopefully we're getting close to... Uh, we'll definitely use that. And that's the forge ahead, so we can scrap that as well. Okay, so this is the compound bow and crossbows. So let's go ahead and use that. Now at some point we'll be able to make those. We're doing well on uh, research notes. Like, I mean, 
Where are they here? 27 here. Plus a whole bunch more at home. We need. A, we only need a... Oh, there's a bag there. And one here. Uh, we only need 120. Ooh, level 20 bl blunderbuss. Uh, let's go ahead and take this out. I'm very much... Like, I don't want to be using a blunderbuss on Horde Knight. When we might have to. So, I don't know if you guys are aware, but Horde Knight in Darkness Falls pretty much runs all night long. There's really no break from it. It's just going to be crazy ass all night long. Oh, I already did this, didn't I? Yeah, I might as well grab the paper from here. Because we are going to need paper for um, for the uh, research notes. Alright, so we can break apart... Did I check the bathroom? I did not. Alright, some of that. Two cans. Take those. I think I'm good on the poop. We'll leave the poop behind. Unless you guys want it, any. If you do, it's in the toilet. You know where to find it. Alright, now we just got this one to do. Hopefully it's not as same hit points as that. That was crazy. Nothing behind there. Alright. Excellent. Let's get out of here. So that was a very successful day. Two missions. We got our secondary class quest done. Primary class quest done. Well, I guess they're technically both primaries. Alright. Gonna have to start wrenching these tires apart. So if you wrench these tires apart, there's a chance to pick up an actual tire. So we're there's a few in the... Uh, in the um, trader compound. Okay, we got a few things I think we can probably sell. First things first, we're going to place down the chicken coop and the animal snare in here. Now they're probably not going to be that effective in here, but it's just going to finish up our class quest. We'll put this here. Put this one there. Get that done. Mortar and pestle. So we need clay for that. We can plant these tomorrow. Uh, let's go talk to the trader. See if Jen. Sorry for my foul mood. Yeah, it's my okay. My coffee maker's on the fritz again. That's all right. Maybe I can find you one when I'm out. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of that. Calipers, we have one upstairs, I think. We're going to get rid of that. Going to sell all these now. I know later on these will come in handy, but going to sell them for now because we could use the money more than anything right now. Okay, so Thanks let's go ahead. Take care of you. And modify you, you. Modify you. Modify you. Finding a lot of black dye, which is really nice. Okay, I see your inventory. Let's go ahead. Get rid of those two. I'm going to keep this one for later. So we made th almost four grand, well, three and a bit today, plus we'll get some more upstairs. Now, do you have... Oh, you got a pump shotgun for 5,500. Which will be gone at midnight. Thank you so much. So let's go see... You've made my day. Okay, triple storage pocket mod it is. Thanks, buddy. Alright, so, um... That goes on these guys. So let's put it on our pants. Helps a little bit, but not much. We're doing okay for storage space here. It's not bad. Uh, now, we need to find a way to make enough coin here. Those can all go in there. You can go in there. You can go in there. So we got 30. Oh, we got enough. Oh, yeah, man. That's a huge bonus for us. All right. Um, okay. So you had the pump shotgun. 5,500. We'll go ahead and take that. Eight pellets. Eight magazine size. Perfect. As long as it's not seven. And we'll sell uh, this crap off. Keeping that. Sell you, sell you. This is worth 260. We'll sell that. Keeping this. Uh, keeping those. 
Might as well hang on to the extra calipers, I guess. Now, shotgun ammo. You don't have any shotgun ammo, eh? Well, we got two more shots at it. Pistol schematic. We got two more shots at it. We've got a chance on day five and then on day seven to get more shotgun ammo from her. So let's go do the mortar and pestle. Um, okay, so uh, what do we want to do here? I'm going to bring you down. I'm going to put you... Where is the shotgun ammo? Got to make some arrows today. Oh, I wanted to sell this too. Shit. Oh, no, I didn't. What am I talking about? We can scrap this. We already got calipers, right? Do we not have calipers? I think I didn't sell them. All right. Got to make another box here. Okay, so mortar and pestle. We're going to need clay. I think we can do it. Can we do it in here for cheaper? I don't think so. No. Uh, it's 40 clay. I think we can do it. In, yeah, it says you can do it in the forge, but maybe it's the advanced forge. There's two more forges. There's a big forge after this one, which lets you make... Um, like this forge here, we get the anvil to make a few things, and then the tool and die set so you can make ammunition. And this is really slow. Then there's the big forge, which, which lets you put in a crucible. And I think it takes a bellows as well, but it also requires fuel. Then the advanced forge doesn't require any fuel at all, and it takes all four as well. And it's faster. So that's what we're going to be working towards. So let's make sure this... Actually, scrap that. Scrap this guy while we're waiting for that. Let's go ahead and get out some stuff here to make some food with. Um, got lots of drink, so we're okay there. Let's use two of these, and we'll make some more yucca tonight too. And we got two cans of chili, so we'll make some chili tonight. I love the recipes in this game, how it works. It's, it's pretty cool. Oh yeah, we do have calipers here. Wait, did we put them in there? I don't know what we did. Jesus Christ. Whatever. Um, <laughs> I'm going crazy. All right, take those. Um, potatoes. Here we go. All right, perfect. So we can do... Or can we? Put those in there. Yeah, steak and potatoes. Here we go. 412 for five, sure. And then cook chili. Get one of those on the go. And then the rest will be 11 yucca juice. Sure. Not bad. How much is that? Ah, it's a little more time than we need, but whatever. I don't got much left over. All right. Anything that's not organic can come out of there those guys back I say organics but it's like medical and food supplies basically okay now we're gonna need this out because I'm gonna make some more farm plots tonight gonna make a workbench tonight too so we need that and that and I think I want to go down and see if I can get that concrete moving uh, I still don't know what we're going to do for Horde Night. And I want to get some cobblestone going, but I'm going to wait till we get the, the forge up and running. Or the workbench up and running. Get that. Uh, what do we need for the workbench here? We can make it now. Go ahead and get that crafting. Alright, let's get you down. And finish this up. That should be the end of our farmer quests. Let's have a look at our skills here. We've got one point to spend, which is not a lot. So, all right, we did get short sous chef level two. Tomato juice and orange tea recipes are short order cook. We don't need those just yet. We can live off of yucca juice for now. We don't need this one just yet. Carrot and banana seeds. Irrigation systems. That's pretty close. We've got to do other stuff here first. So, laborer. We need to go with electrician. So, let's take that now. Because now we can make um, generator bank. 
and we can make relays and we can make electric fence posts and that's going to change a lot that's going to help us a lot okay so um workbench will be in a little while here so yeah what i'll do is i'm going to end this episode here i'm going to need some forged iron tonight i think so let's get another 50 on the go um That should be another 52. Right? Yep. Get that going. So at least it started. Definitely going to need that for putting together the generator bank plus all of the um, electric fence posts. So I'm hoping that really saves us on Horde Night. But I still need to figure out a way. Ah, man. Do we just... Let's wear this for a second. Let's go upstairs outside. So do we... I gotta knock those stairs out tomorrow too. So here's the thing. There's a couple of ways to run this horde. One, we can stay up on the walls the whole night. But if I do that, then I need to extend these blocks up all the way to the top here. Like, I need to reinforce all four corners. I gotta knock out the stairs on all, on all the sides. Which shouldn't be too too hard I don't think like if I knock out the key steps we might be able to collapse the whole thing so collapse most of it like knock out five of them on each side and then the whole thing will collapse to take the stairs out so we take out those steps on both sides that means they can't get up here unless they break through this door and go up here and climb up this way if I reinforce that door and the back door they may not see that as an option or the other way to do it is to reinforce this whole building and put the horde base out front here leave the front doors open so that they can run into the courtyard but that's not utilizing the guards in any way how do I utilize the guards the, the best the best way to utilize the guards is to use this as the main base and we fight here up on the second level but then we have ramps that lead up from that side, from the back, from that side, and that side. So four main ramps that come up right by the guards. Right, so the guards see the zombies coming up and murder them as they're trying to get to me on, in this building. And all we have to do is stand in this building and watch the guards kill them all. In theory. I mean, ultimately, that's the kind of base I want to run. But then when we run it with a 64 zombie horde, like... I don't know if it's my computer or melt trying to do that because apparently it's it's really insane. Um, but you know, at least with a 32 zombie horde, especially in late game with all the kind of crazy mobs are showing up. There's all kinds of crazy mobs in this game. When they show up, they may just like they may just kill everything. I think that is forged steel. In which case, if that's forged steel, we could use that as the base. Like, I could just stand on I could I could break out this bit and this bit and stand up there for the first Horde Knight and just shoot them on the ground. And hopefully the guards do the same. Like, these guards might shoot them down here. I don't think this guy will, but those guys might. I don't know. And then we just fight, like, they'll break through the walls wherever. I can leave the front door open. They can break through the walls wherever. And then they'll most likely be running around trying to find a way to get to me. And when they can't, they'll probably just beat on this and I can just shoot them from above. Put a little cage over it, right? So the birds can, uh, cannot get to me. And that'll just be Horde Knight 1. And then we figure out what the second Horde Knight will be. And it will probably be reinforcing this center block. And we just make this a fighting compound. Like, I'm going to have to super reinforce... Like, unless we drop the trader down below, like, knock the floor out and have her fall into a cavern, like a, a place that we set up below here, then this has to be right up to... This has to be, like, right up to, to stainless steel like that is. And that's a lot of iron. But, I mean, we are here to, to mine and build, right? This block in the center here will be easy to reinforce relatively. And I think, you know, we can still use the fighting platforms on the side at the beginning of the horde. 
until they break through. And then once they've broken through into the inner courtyard, we can go back to this building and fight on the like in the building and shoot at them. And as long as they like they can't get up to us on the second floor, then we're gold. Like you know what I mean? If those stairs are gone, those stairs are gone, and the concrete stairs on the inside are gone, then we could fight here until they pull this building down, which probably will never happen. But who knows? Like late, like later in game, there might be such a crazy zombie horde that they easily pull it down. I don't know. All right. Well, that's my thought anyway. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Most likely, I'm going to have recorded episode seven before episode one is posted. Uh, most likely, um, because I, I think I want to try and do it like record seven days at a time, so I don't get too many comments that that basically spoil me trying to figure this out. Um, yeah, I think that's probably what I'll do. Got a guy over there. So I'm going to probably make some iron arrows tonight. Iron arrowheads and iron arrows. And we've got the workbench done probably by now. Yep, we can get that up in here. Throw it there for now. Um, yeah, so I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Please drop any comments in the comment section down below. I will go back and read every single comment from every single video. So just make sure you do it. And if for whatever whatever reason... I don't put a, a check like a, a like and a heart on your comment. Um, just recomment again because som sometimes I miss them. Most of the times I read all of them, but sometimes the, it gets caught in the um, limbo of of comments for review. Like I had one comment that I, I that didn't show up in the comments for review for like a month, and it was like it just all of a sudden appeared there. I'm like, this comment was a month ago. So I, I don't know, weird sh shit happens sometimes. So if I don't if I don't comment, it just means I missed it somehow. And if you figure it's important, type it again, and I'll definitely read it for sure. Because I don't ignore any comment. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Till next time, we'll see you later.